Right to right there on World Poetry Day. We now have joining us in the studio a poetry promoter and the poet Ayokunle Komolafe to discuss this day. Many thanks for joining us now. Thank you very we much. We heard that um, rendition by our own Ola Wakon. How did that make you feel? Yes, I'm, I'm very proud of him. He's, he's, a, he's someone that is really making poetry to go to the mainstream of media. You know, by the virtue of you know his involvement in uh, in TV, and he's he's really doing well. And poetry has really come a long way. We are we have from the beginning when we have the traditional poetry, the Ewe, the Jala, and all, all all those things. And now we have so many people coming to poetry. To the unschooled or one who doesn't ap appreciate poetry, how would you interpret uh, that poem now uh, to them, basically? Well, that, that's the reason I, I normally tell people that uh, the, the best way to, to project your activity to the world is through television. Now, by watching that poetry, you know, it, it's, it's transcribed. You can see it on, on, on the screen. It, it's, it's not boring, like when you are reading it from the pages of a, of, a, of a book. But you can read from it, you can read it on the screen, you can internalize it, you can enjoy the... the, the, the the way the poet is, is no, rendering it. A poet like yourself. No, I, I, you know, I mean, that's, that's why we are putting it on TV. doesn't understand what exactly he's talking about. People what could does still it, be yeah. lost after lost, all. Lost, yeah. What does it really mean? What is he saying? <laughs> he's talking about his right to write. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it takes a, a, another level of understanding to, to, to enjoy poetry. Mm -hmm. And uh, nowadays we have a lot of people that are now into, into spoken word poetry. No, like, like, like that, there are some that actually put a lot of drama into it. Mm -hmm. There are some that you, they will act it on stage while the, the poet is rendering his poetry. So we are trying to put so many forms into, mm -hmm. into pre presenting poetry so that people that you are talking about will be able to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to, to, to be, you know, to come at, at, a, at, at, a, at a particular level with the poet so that they will not get lost while enjoying what we have to offer. And is it something you can teach? Is it something yes, that's, you can that, that is taught? How yes. do you encourage people who would love to write poems but you know, just can't? Mm -hmm. Well, it will amaze you that within the last two years, so many people that never believed that they could write anything yeah. are now going to poetry. You know, there's, there's this radio program that we've been running for like two years now. and. Uh, you, you bring someone and you ask him that, how, how long have you been writing poetry? They, they will tell you that in just three months. And it will amaze you what they are now, they are, they are now churning out mm -hmm. because of how they be thought mm -hmm. by people that have seen it, that have enjoyed it. That have, so, so, so many people can be taught. We are advocating that it's been, it, it, it should be taught in secondary schools. We're advocating that it should be taught in, among youths because we, we, we can now see that uh, it, it can be commercialized. Now, that was, I was, was mm. going to come to that. I, I mean, a lot of people want to sing, they want to be artists, they want to be, you know, make money. How do we make money out of this? It, it, it seems like this is boring um, stuff. Well, you can't make money out of it. <laughs> so, I remember for my lots experience in secondary school with, with poems. I, I love the rhyme, the mm. rhyme part of poems, yeah. but so many times I was... How can we <laughs> make money out of poetry? How yeah. can uh, these poets uh, make money out of this? Now, brands are now okay. identifying with it. I have a friend that just did poetry recital for a brand, oh. you know, a major brand in Nigeria. You know, so many people are now abroad People, they now employ poets to write copy for, for, for them. You know, they now write, do commercials, you know, uh, uh, with poetry. There's a bank somewhere that okay. did commercial, purely poetry, spoken word poetry. I, you will enjoy it by the time you see it. And, and I, I know that uh, in the short while we start seeing poetic advert on our TV, on our television and online and everywhere. Even here in Nigeria and also with um, the fact that there's a lot of despondency and, and frustration in our world, in our, in our nation, perhaps mm. one would want to use poems as a way to express oneself yes. and find like, release yeah. somehow. Yes, yes, like that's, that's, the, what, like that's the, what, mm. what actually drove a lot of people into poetry. They were able to vent their anger through poems, okay. you know. They write it, they were able to talk oh. to the government. Yeah, you know. so much to talk about. <laughs> I, wish, I wish we had more time, but I must say, we must stop.
for us to go ahead. All right, thank you very That's much for having me. Well done. <laughs> Ayo Kunle Komolafe, thanks a lot for speaking with us on TVC News. And thank congratulations uh, to poets like yourself there. You're watching TVC News Hour Nigeria.